Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. Today I am going to show you how to milk a goat, or at least my steps and procedures that I use here at Wholesome Roots. What do you think, Shady? So first off, you need a goat. And it is highly recommended that you have a milk stand that you can lock them into to make it much easier and give them some food. They need some food to keep them distracted so they won't put their foot in the bucket. The other supplies necessary is a good high quality stainless steel milk bucket, a way to clean off the udder and teats. I use my own all natural teat and udder wash. I'll leave a link to the video. And paper towels to wipe it down with. I would prefer to use hot water and cloths that I can wash but we don't have a source of running water down here at the barn, so paper towels it is. It's also essential that you have a cold bag with ice packs in it and spare jars in case you need to pour it off because somebody is being too jumpy and you're afraid they're gonna kick that can out of your hand. It's a good idea to go ahead and pour out the milk into another jar and put it on ice. So after enticing your goat onto the milk stand, you give your cleaner a good shake because we do have essential oils in here. So it's always a good idea to shake any liquids that have essential oils in them. And you spray off the teeth and the udder wherever it's going to be exposed to your hand. Some goats have really big udders and you don't have to go all the way up their back side necessarily to get them clean. But it is a good idea to brush any hay dust or debris off of their udder first. And then I take my paper towel and I clean it and clean it well, making sure that the teats are super clean all the way down to the very tip where the orifice is. I then lay my paper towel on the ground, take the first couple of squirts and squirt them out to make sure that there's no clumps and no discoloration in that milk in the teat. Once I know that the teat is clear of any clumps or discoloration, it is time to go ahead and milk. I wanna give a big thank you to Kathy for this new milk pitcher. We have been using a half gallon pitcher, which doesn't quite work well for this girl because she gives more than a half gallon. So we have to end up emptying it and starting over again, which can sometimes agitate them. So I appreciate that. She purchased that from our Amazon wish list. Anybody who wants to purchase from our Amazon wish list, we really appreciate the kind gesture. And if you're making purchases on Amazon, make sure you use one of our links so that we can get some credit from it and it won't change the price for your product at all. It is a good idea to bump the udder and massage it to get the milk flow going. With Kitty, her udder is always pretty tight in the morning, so I don't need to do that until about halfway through. So I'm going to milk out about half of her milk to loosen up her udder, and then I'm gonna give it a good massage to allow her to release the next stage of milk, which is the hind milk, which is where most of the cream is located. Some goats will try to hold that back, but it's really up to the goat. <laughs> Some goats, you can keep doing it and keep milking and keep milking and get that hind milk out. Others really don't wanna release it at all, like my shady girl who I've already milked and put away. Oftentimes, I use coconut oil on the udder, especially if the udder seems to be a little bit dry. I do tend to apply coconut oil at the beginning to help with the milking and ease their udder dryness. It is also antibacterial, so it helps prevent any infection from entering the orifice later on in the field when they're laying in the ground. So milking a goat is quite easy. You just grip the top area of the teat, close it off like a balloon, and roll your fingers down so that the stream of milk comes out. What? What? You still got food? <laughs> so once you have all of your milk and you've put it into your ice bag or cooler, you're gonna wanna bring it to the house and filter the milk 
label it and refrigerate it right away. All right, so I always make sure I have a sanitized jar and sanitized lid. This is a product called Star Sand. It is food grade, safe to leave on. Um, if it puddles a little bit, I just pour it out. Um, any excess water or sanitizer, I just pour out. And then I put my filter in, make sure that my filter is also sanitized. And then I strain my milk. I have been using the gold reusable coffee filter for my filtration this entire time and it's worked great. And now that I have this new filter that Kathy sent me, I'm excited to try it out as well. This is gonna filter out any hair or debris that may have fallen in the milk. There is nothing else that needs to be filtered out of fresh goat milk other than that. So it's not important that you have some fancy chemical filtration system. It is imperative that you wash all of your milk supplies in cold water. Milk will congeal if washed in hot water. So it is best to wash it in cold water first and then if you want to use hot soapy water afterwards you can. I label the lids with the date and I put them in the fridge and I'm all done. Easy, right? We always put our freshest milk into the coldest part of our refrigerator, which is the top shelf at the back. So that's where we that's where we put it so that it'll cool down quickly. It's important that, that your fresh raw milk cools down very fast. Some people even make an alcohol ice solution and keep a cooler in the freezer where they can cool it down for a 30 minute cool before they put it into the fridge. Really just whatever works best for you so that you get it chilled fast. That is pretty much it. I hope that you guys have learned something about how to milk a goat. Um, it's very simple and easy and I hope that you have the opportunity to milk your own goat someday if you don't already have some and if you have some I hope that this has helped you. Please like, share, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.